Hello guys, today we will show you how to create a beautiful mobile bottom menu like this with WP Mobile Bottom Menu plugin. To create this kind of bottom menu we need to use the WP Mobile Bottom Menu Pro version. So let's start the video. We can also create a mobile menu with the free version. But the free version does not have so many features. So let's see how we can install WP Mobile Bottom Menu Pro plugin and create such a beautiful customization. To install the mobile menu we need to add a new plugin from WordPress. Then type WP Mobile Bottom Menu and search. Install and activate the first plugins that come up. Note the company name Boomdevs to confirm the correct plugins. Now we need to install the Pro plugin. Click on the Add New button. Now go to Upload Plugins. Upload the Pro plugin. Install and activate now. Enter your activation key here and activate Pro Mode. Now we will see how we can customize the plugin. You can see that the mobile menu is showing now. To customize the menu we need to go to the WordPress dashboard and then go to the menu option from the appearance section. Here you can see the main menu. Here we will create the menu that we want to show in our mobile menu. Like main menu, sub menu, child menu, sub child menu etc. If you are familiar with WordPress then you will definitely know how to create a menu. Let me just create the menus. Once the menu is created, click on the Save button. You can see the menu which I have created is showing as the mobile menu. Now it's time to spruce up our menu. To do this we need to go to Customize from WordPress. Find WP BNAB option and click here. Here you will find all the customization options. First let us introduce you to pre-made themes. In the pre-made themes option you will get some templates by default. I am not going to use it, because we will see how to create a new design with customization. You can easily use them if you want. Now go to general settings. The first option is breakpoint you can add breakpoints when the mobile menu appears. In the second option you can use Z index. Then you can see the background type option. This option allows you to choose what kind of background you want. You can also select the blur. If you don't want the blur then you can choose the value to zero. Here you can also choose the border and border color. Here you can see the border. You can also reduce border size. The border radius can also be set. On the border you can also set shadows. You can also adjust the margin and padding. There are also menu style settings. There are several options in the menu style setting. How many menu items are displayed in the mobile menu? By default the value is 6. But you can change it as you want. I'm setting the value to 5. Then alignment. You can align the menu items to any side. You can also use the item menu scroll bar. Then the background type option. You can also change the background color. Let me just show you.
I'm just setting the default color. Then there is the blur option. After removing the blur you will notice that. There is no blur in the menu. Then the padding option comes in. You can set up padding if you want. It is also possible to set a margin. Additionally you can define a border. And set up a border radius for a great looking menu. If you want padding in each item then you can also do that. You can also set an offset value. I'm giving 10 pixels to the opposite fellow. Now see what happened. Let's make it the default value. Then you can set the item border. You can set the item's active border and item border radius. Also here you can see an item background color option. Here is the item's active color. Then select the item icon visibility option. By default it's set to show an option. But if you select the hide option, then it will not show the icon. You can also select the show and active options. The icon will appear when the menu item is active. Alternatively you can also choose to hide when active. Then you can select the icon position. For changing the icon position you can also set an icon offset. Let me show you. You can set icon offset. Next we have the icon typography option. What should the icon size be? Depending on your preferences, you can select the icon size and color. There are two options for icon typography. The fast is the for an active menu items option. For the active menu there is another one. Also you can set a color for the icon. The color of the item menu and the color of the active menu item can also be set. You can set text visibility. This option is similar to icon visibility. The next option is text typography and active text typography. From text typography you can change font family, font style, font size, font color etc. And active text typography does the same. Let me show you. Let's see how our menu turned out. The next option is the shopping cart. There will be a separate video on how to add to the shopping cart. The shopping cart is not shown in this video. Then go to the next option. Here you can see the sub menu section. We will set up the sub menu exactly the same way as the main menu.
Here you can see what we are changing. Now adjust the padding and margins. Adjust the border and board radius in the same way. Then adjust item border and item active border. Then you can set up icon visibility and icon position as before. You can set icon offset here. And finally, icon typography and text typography. You can easily set it as before. The last option is the child menu. This one is as simple as the previous two. Set up it in the same way. In terms of customizing the child menus, I am not showing the process since it is the same as for the main menu. Also, the video will be much longer. Let me quickly do the customization. Okay done setting up my child menu. Now you see all our menu icons are all the same. We need to change the item icon to improve the beauty of the menu. To change the icon, go to the menu section from the WordPress dashboard. Click the arrow icon. Find the add icon option and click on it. Many icons will appear here. From here select the icon according to your item. And select the same icon in the active icon. Change all menu icons as before. When all the icons are changed, click on the Save menu. Now see how beautiful our menu looks. Finally we come to the last step. Our last step is the menu search box. To customize the search box we need to go again to the customizer. You will see the search box option. Click here. First we will get the background type. From here you can set the background of your search box. This is perfect for me. You can set blur here. Then you can set the focused background type and color. You can also set the blur here. Then typography. Here you can change the search box font, font color, font size, font style etc. You will see that our font has changed. And it looks better than ever. Similarly change the focus typography. You can set the focus border. 
Here you can use border radius to make the search box more beautiful. Then you can set the icon. You can use shadow. I'm not using it. Then you can set focused shadows. Our next option is offset. Here you can adjust the offset. This is better for me. Then you can adjust the padding. Take a look at this sleek mobile menu I designed using the advanced features of the WP Mobile Menu Bottom Menu plugin. It's incredibly user-friendly and visually appealing, don't you think? If you have any questions or need assistance with your health-related concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to provide reliable support and guidance. Additionally, if you require customization options with the pro version of the plugin, our team is well equipped to assist you in achieving the desired outcome. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any queries regarding this issue feel free to ask them in the comment box. If you like the video, Give a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.